Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent Sensi consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And in today's video, I'm doing my Sensi empties <laughs> for the month of January 2020, but it actually includes a little bit from December, so it's probably about five weeks. Quite a few things I finished. I didn't start and empty everything in the same month, and I really concentrated on getting rid of a lot of testers this month. So what I'm gonna do is sort through these items and then we'll go over them. The reason that YouTubers do the empties is because it's fun to hear about Scentsy stuff, but it also gives you guys an idea of the scents and how things perform, and that way you guys can make informed purchasing decisions. So just stick around, I'll be right back. We're gonna start with scents that are currently available as I film this video. So some of these are due to retire, but we'll go through it. The first one I finished up was Homestead Holiday. This one has scent notes of blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needle. And I like to warm this on December 23rd. Well, that's my birthday. December 24th and 25th. Mm, I love it. It's it's different. Um, you get the fur and the cinnamon the most, I feel like. And then the blood orange is the third to me. But I really like this one. I love the blue wax. And so I did pick up a few bars. And I think I will not put it in my Scentsy Club. But I really like that one. I finished up Best in Snow. This one is described as frosted evergreen, cool mint, and icy air. I have written down, this reminds me of toothpaste and flat 7-up mixed together. That's what it smells like. Den uh, minty toothpaste with flat 7-up or Sprite. So if you like those, pick up Best in Snow. So I finished up a bar plus a couple testers. So... I would not repurchase that. It, it wasn't for me. I finished up a vanilla mint and I actually changed the bar that I had for this beat up packaging here so I could get rid of this. Yeah, I love this one. It says frosted winter green, vanilla and frozen citrus. Now I have a feeling this one's retiring. The reason I say that as a, is as a consultant, we have access to a list and some of the scents that have sold out have been replenished, but vanilla mint is listed as not being replenished and it all, as well clove and cinnamon dumbo and there was a fourth one i forget what it was brownie batter perhaps so i have a feeling this might not come back so if you really like vanilla mint put it in your club uh what i would say is this is a very soft to medium scent but it lasts a long time in my kids bathroom like many 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 days and they're little 15 watt mini warmers and i love the scent it's a very different mint scent it's very airy and sweet and gentle so I finished that plus a bunch of testers so I did a good job on my vanilla mint and I will say I mixed vanilla a little bit of this with I mixed like one cube to a half a cube of around the campfire and I really liked that I would definitely repurchase vanilla mint loved it all right some other testers I went through was autumn hearth this one is basically I think it's cinema cinnamon what is it tonka bean apple cinnamon and tonka so this one it smells really good in my mom's house and it doesn't smell as good in my house it's a little bit off-putting in my house but in her house it smells terrific so just an example of how things perform differently in different people's homes I would repurchase this but I will do it um, for my mom and it's fairly, it was fairly strong at her house and about a medium at my house. So I finished up Slay All Day, a couple of testers. This is also due, due to retire. It's Snow Kissed Mint, Juniper, and Crisp Mountain Air. Now how this one differed from Best in Snow is this one was a little bit less of a performer for me. Like I liked it on cold sniff, but I just couldn't smell it in the warmers very well. Yeah, it's fairly pleasant here, but it just didn't perform well. It's It's got a Juniper vibe to it, but... Not a good performer for me, so I would not repurchase that. I finished up three little mini cubes <laughs> or mini testers of pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll is in the bakery section fall and winter. It's retiring at the end of January, but it's really nice. It's like a yellow cake. It's got like a pumpkin pie filling. It's got nuts and butter and spices. Really nice and pleasant. I really like that one. And it's about a medium performer in my home. I finished up a whole bunch of testers. Look at all those of Eskimo Kiss. And I actually am also working on a brick, so I have a little bit. I want to try to use up some of these big bag of testers. So I had my tester stash diminished quite a bit, and then my superstar director gave me a bunch of testers. And also, as things retire, I add them into the, the bag. So that's why I just wanted to get rid of some of these. This is basically blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. And it's a very perfumey, fruity scent. 
like feminine perfumey scent, very different. Uh, lasts a long time at a medium to medium low. And I used up a bunch more testers and this one is in Christmas Cottage. I do happen to have a brick of this one as well. So Christmas Cottage is basically, I think it's got raspberries, orange, Valencia orange, and I think cinnamon and spices, that kind of thing. It's very heavy on the cinnamon, a little bit of a punch in your face cinnamon. Now it's funny, I really, really enjoyed this in my TV room and I put it here in my bedroom and it wasn't as pleasant, so I don't know. It might, it might be a mood thing. It might just be an environment thing, but I actually put this, it seemed to do very well in my 12 watt element warmer, which was in the TV room. So I'm, I was pretty pleased with this scent in the 12 watt element warmer. All right, before we move on to things that are not available, I will show you that I finished up a brick and this was a brick that I did put it the end of my empties for the year, but I, I hadn't included it in a monthly empty, so it's Blue Christmas, <laughs> and I love Blue Christmas. It's one of my favorite scents. Let me read you the notes. Scentsy says, orange peels, cloves, fir needle, and cinnamon sticks. But to me, it smells more like, like a fir tree with a bright, crisp, clean men's shaving cream. That's what I get, and sometimes I wonder if that's why it's called Blue Christmas, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I get. To have, uh, always feels good to get rid of a brick. All right, so let's move on to things that are no longer available, but this one is actually becoming available February 1st. It's coming back. I finished up a uh, bar of mocha doodle, and this is coffee beans, cocoa, sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. And this is really nice down in my open layout. It's very cozy. It doesn't scream coffee, it has like chocolate and coffee, and then the other notes kind of come in behind that. It. It's very cozy. It, it reminds me of like a country home or the way a home would smell on a cold winter day. So um, if you're someone that loves Mocha Doodle, you can look forward to the February 1st catalog. It is coming back. I finished up Feeling Pine. This was in the, like the holiday trio. It's pine, eucalyptus, and mistletoe. This did not do very well for me. I had a really hard time smelling it. I actually put a lot of cubes, I think I used almost the whole bar in my open layout and I couldn't get a very good strength to throw. It was, um, did okay in my entranceway, but I would not repurchase that. I finished up Amber Hollow. This was an old bar from the, when I had it as a scent of the month and it's officially out of my house now. <laughs> Clove leaf, cardamom, dark amber, and warm cedar wood base. Well, it's still so strong. <laughs> it's a lingerer. If you're someone that likes scents, that you turn them on and then when you turn them off, you can still smell them for hours and you wanna pick up this if it ever comes back. This wasn't the bring back my bar that just left us in December. So it's very much an ethnic spice, um, almost like an East Indian curry or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's very like heavy on the wood as well. So that is Amber Hollow, not one that I like very much. This one I love, it's Apple S'mores. In the original packaging, it's harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, coconut milk, toasted marshmallow, vanilla creme, and warm cedar wood. So if you disregard the name, it's basically a an apple scent with a very sweet but char kind of effect from the toasted marshmallow. And then there's a woodsy vibe. So it's kind of a little bit of a different scent and I think they didn't know how to name it. <laughs> Sometimes Scentsy names things, and, and I think the name might do the scent in, but, but Apple S'mores is one that is very strong. It changes as it warms. It becomes a little more bakery the longer it goes. A little bit more of that vanilla creme and the marshmallow comes out. But yeah, this is definitely strong enough for my open concept. I love that one. That one is in my Scentsy Club. I finished up Cozy Chai in the original packaging. This was also a bring back my bar from December. This is warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. Yeah, I don't think my family liked this one very much. It's kind of a little bit cinnamon heavy. It's a little bit bakery heavy, vanilla. I don't know. I always get a strange note of like cornbread with this. So it's not a favorite. And it's funny, I loved it early on and then something changed for me. So Cozy Chai would not be a repurchase for me. But it is in my Scentsy Club because there's someone that messaged me and she said she didn't want to start a club. And would I mind putting that in for her? And I said, no, I don't mind. <laughs> So I'm just trying to help out 
a fellow addict. I finished up two of Plum and White Woods. I love this one. This is an awesome, awesome girly scent. It's basically raspberry preserves, dancing plum, and vanilla orchid. Beautiful, beautiful scent. And this thing is a ticker. It'll just go and go and go. So if you're someone that likes long lasting scents, then definitely want to pick up Plum and White Woods. This is a terrific one. And I, I got both of these from my friend, Shannon. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Shannon. I finished up a Painted Leaves in the original packaging. This was also a December Bring Back My Bar. I tried to, can you see a theme? I was trying to finish up. This just had, I think, a couple of cubes left. Blue Spruce, Red Maple, and Golden Woods. I think I warmed this in my bonus bonus TV room. We call it the bonus room. I don't, I have no idea why we do that. And I think I put this in my 12 watt element warmer because sometimes if a scent is overly strong and you put it in a 40 watt bulb Edison warmer, it'll just blow you out. So I thought I'll just go with the steady, slow release of the element warmer. It did really well. And you can kind of see a little bit of um, oil in the bottom there. It's a little bit juicy. So I'm happy to get that one out of my stash where it was a little bit juicy, but I have it in my club. So I'm happy. I finished up two bars of Peppermint Dreams. This is one that was also a bring back my bar, but I have the original packaging. It's chocolate, cupcake, and fresh mint. So it's very much kind of like a junior mint and Andy's mint, you know, that minty with the chocolate. As it warms, it comes a very soft chocolate bakery comes out, but there's a little bit of vanilla tone to it as well. So I really like it on day two. This one is fairly strong for most people. You can definitely smell it even in an open layout. So I, I really like that one. It's in my club as well. This is also in my club, <laughs> Vanilla Oud in the original packaging. Also a bring back my bar. It's sweet vanilla and it's got a hint of leather, I believe, and oud wood. This is such a nice one. I, get, I gifted a bar to Canada Kim and she really liked it as well. My family really likes it. It's just a nice calming, sweet vanilla with a, a little bit of a woodsy note. Just one second. A little bit of a woodsy note. Beautifully done. I joke around and say this is the scent that like the royal family would warm in their fancy homes because it's a little bit sophisticated and fancy. And I warm it here in my bedroom. It does very well. To me, it's a bedroom scent. I don't warm it in my open layout. It lasts a long time in a small to medium zone. From the International Wax Collection, I finished up a Salted Lavender. This one is described as English Lavender, Ocean Minerals, and Timber Wood. It's kind of like a little bit of a floral, also um, lavender, with a, a sweet soap, a sweet floral soap to it, and a little bit of saltiness. I, 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 I can do without this. I'm okay with, you know, not having a lot of lavender in my life. But a lot of people love lavender, so if you see this, come back. You might want to give it a try. To me, it was pretty average to subpar on performance, so I wasn't overly impressed with this. I think my sister likes this, and I think I might have one more bar, so she might get that one eventually. We'll see. Um, I finished up Fearless by Nature from the Frozen 2. Wildflower, Sage, and Woods. So this is like an earthy, fresh, mossy, green kind of note. A little bit woodsy, a little bit floral. I like this. Um, I, it's not one I need to stock up on, but I do really like this. And from memory, it did fairly well in my open layout. It was almost too strong for my son's room downstairs, my big, um, my big uh, bedroom adjoining bath that he he's in. So a little bit too strong there, but did well in my open layout. All right, we still have some more to go. Got a lot of these ones: lavender and white balsam. This one is Lavender, White Balsam, and Crisp, crisp Amber. I do like this one. Even though I always say I'm not a huge Lavender fan, I do like this one. I find the White Balsam isn't very strong, but I've been watching a few videos and they find the Balsam really strong. So, I don't know. To me, it's very well done. <laughs> it's very well balanced. And I, I like this one. It's a repurchase. I've repurchased it. And I didn't put it in my club just because it's not, you know, a must-have. So... I have Sweet Plum Pastry. This one here is basically, I should know it off by heart, it's Black Plum Toasted Coconut and Marshmallow Cloud. Yeah, and this one, some people were a little bit let down by this, but <laughs> this is an old one. Um, I think the thing that bugs some people is that 
note of the plum juices that kind of crisp up and almost get that tinge of burn smell, that's in here. Because I picture like the tart bubbling and then it also incorporates when juices bubble over and they get a little bit that sticky sap and like char note, that's here. The marshmallow cloud helps tone that down. And if you want more bakery, you could add a bakery note like vanilla bean buttercream, sugar cookie, omelet croissant, butter pecan even, um, stroop waffle, lots of different ones you could add to this if you want more bakery. That's a repurchase is actually in my club. And I finished up a bar of Apple Crush. This is one of my guilty pleasure scents because I like it even though it's a kid scent. You know it's a kid scent because back in the day they used to put a bicycle on it. And I don't have the scent notes, but if, if I remember correctly, it's like, I think it's like a green apple and there's like an apple blossom or some sort of floral. And that just makes it feel very fresh to me. I mainly don't, I mainly get almost like a sweet, slightly fake apple that's green, but I like it. <laughs> Kid-like apple that I love. That is apple crush. All right, I did finish up some testers of Retired Scents, Caramel Vanilla Delight. That's basically like a vanilla ice cream with some caramel and some rum. It's a pretty good little mixer. I finished up uh, a couple sugars and a couple shimmers. Sometimes I think I just put these in this, the same bag because I always pair those together because when I was first getting into Scentsy, the shimmer and sugar brick came out and I purchased both. Um, went, I kind of went to bricks almost right away. <laughs> so I prefer sugar. Sugar is an excellent mixer. It's basically got lemon drops and cotton candy and shimmer has like cherries and apricots and has like white musk and shimmering sponge sugar, I believe, something to that effect. Both very girly, both feminine and sweet and delicious. Uh, so I like both. I do like sugar a little bit better and I have bricks of both that I'm working on. Uh, I finished up three little testers of pineapple, coconut, vanilla. These were really soft. Unfortunately, I've always had mixed results with the scent. Even in body care, it doesn't smell great on me. I'm, I'm kind of sad about that, but uh, basically it has pineapple, coconut, vanilla, it has blue fig. Uh, it just needs to be a touch stronger. I have in this bag, I have an ice hotel, which you've heard me talk about before. I, I don't like this one at all. I'm sorry if you love it. Um, I don't remember the notes, but to me, it smells like a man in an elevator that you're trapped with that sprayed on a bunch of cologne because he didn't shower for days and you just want to get off the elevator. That's Heist Hotel. <laughs> I mixed lavender cotton with two crazy coconuts. I, I just didn't, I wanted to use up the lavender cotton. I'm not a big lavender cotton girl, but I thought, well, let's try to sweeten it up and I'll coconut up, it, it up a bit with uh, crazy coconut. And it was a little bit better that way. Crazy Coconut is, has coconut and um, vanilla ice cream and it's a former kid scent as well. And last but not least for the testers, I finished up two Palo Santos. I finished these up probably close to New, New Year's Day. And then funny, fun fact, this is coming back in the June Bring Back My Bar. And I'm kind of surprised at that because this was not a very popular scent when it was out, or so I thought. Um, I think that it might be coming back because of the uh, popularity of Palo Santo in the in indie wax world with vendor wax, things like that. Um, and Bath and Body Works has a Palo Santo that is a little bit sweeter from my memory than Sensi's version. So just keep that in mind when it comes time to purchase. You might want to purchase Palo Santo as a mixer as well. All right, let's talk Bring Back My Bars. I finished a Black Current Bubbly. This is an outstanding performer, like strong as all get out and long lasting. The notes are champagne bubbles, black currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar. Definitely get a lot of currant. You get a little zing from the orange. It's very pleasant. It's funny, I'm liking this the more I warm this, and this is one of my customer's favorite scents, so she knows who she is. Uh, black currant bubbly is a very great performing wax. You can definitely give it props for that. Vanilla suede. This is classic vanilla, rich amber, sandalwood, and spice. And I call this the Lad Drummond scent. Man, it's, it's still strong in here. Um, for me, it's a little bit strong because it's not my preferred vanilla fragrance for that kind of thing. I definitely prefer vanilla oud over vanilla suede. But this is, it does okay in a bedroom. And I think that in my open layout, it's fairly light, but it was probably a little bit better for me in my open layout than it might be for other people because I find the suede and the spice the spice is kind of like that warmth that you get from like a brandy or 
or a whiskey kind of burns your throat as it goes down. I feel like that's in here. And there's a little bit of musk or something in here as well. All right, I finished up one of my favorites, probably my second favorite scent, Marshmallow Mint. This is Buttermint Marshmallow and Amber. I love this one. And I am so happy that I am fortunate enough that it does terrific for me. I can even warm this up, I'm, I open layout and it does well. <laughs> but some people have terrible luck with it. They say it's way too light. But there must be something magical in my home because Marshmallow Mint just performs for me like a champ. Oh, it's so pleasant. That dreamy marshmallow combined with the buttermint. Buttermint is soft. And the amber just makes it kind of spread through the air and you're enjoying it even more. So I highly recommend this one. If you ever see it come back, definitely pick it up to try. I finished up an old packaging of Cutie Pie Cupcake, which is clementine, yellow cake batter, vanilla, and sugary icing. And my sister described this as a Sobeys cake. So if you're from Canada, you might know what a Sobeys cake would smell like. And it's funny, I can't really smell it in the packaging. And this is older, so I'm just thinking that it was a fairly light scent for me, and I don't know if it's because of the age of the bar. But I do have a more recent bar that I will definitely get to it's a good scent. It reminds me of a spring and summer bakery. It's a little bit more light and happy. It's almost like a yellow cake with that sugary icing and you get a little bit of that clementine. Um, it reminds me of those little tiny cupcakes that you'd see on a, on a tea tray that you just kind of pop in your mouth. I finished up one of my daughter's favorites, Blueberry Rush. This is blueberry, cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. A lot of black currant for me. <laughs> Now this I do not like. It almost smells like stale cigarettes to me. And I know that sounds weird. Anyway, so for me, I'm not a fan, but but I have found ways to enjoy it. So I definitely put it in her room. But I decided one day, I said, I want something I could smell because sometimes you'll go through spurts where you, you'll have a bunch of duds and you just say, where's something I know is gonna work? So I pulled this out and I warmed it with perfectly pomegranate one time and I really liked that. But in my open layout, if I warm a scent that I don't absolutely love, it's strong, but I don't love it. It seems to be more tolerable there because it kind of gets lost a little faster. So Blueberry Rush, I have a bunch more of those so we're not needing to repurchase anytime soon. Uh, I finished up a bar of White Out. This is Cool Peppermint, Golden Apple, Apple, and something else, I didn't write it down. Yeah, this is, this is such a nice scent, but it just doesn't do well for me. Like it really, it starts out okay. And then it just fizzes out. And I'm like, where did it go? The whiteout just left. This, the sky's cleared and we're back to good weather because whiteout is just not a good performer in my house, which sucks. All right, I'm just going to show you. I was working hard this month. I also got through all of these testers in Tester Tuesday, and some of them were repeats of bars that I melted. So I used up a bulb, a 25 watt bulb. For pods, I used up Feel and Pine which I've already talked about. I had this going next to my tree. I don't think I could smell it. It kind of smells like, ooh, it kind of smells very gross here. Like a poultry season with cat urine at the end of it. So yeah, that wasn't for me. I finished up a couple pots in pumpkin chai. See, it's funny, you, take, you, you can't smell them anymore in the unit, but then when you put them back in here, you can smell them all of a sudden. Yeah, it's like cinnamon pumpkin, creamy. I like it. I like it in here. <laughs> I might I might just smell that next to my bed maybe. <laughs> um, I've also got pumpkin roll pods on the go. I've got prickly pear and agave pods on the go. I can't kill the prickly pear and agave pods. I can't kill those things. <laughs> anyway, I also have a pumpkin roll car bar going so I'll, I'll discuss that. It's funny, I love the smell of pumpkin roll wax and I love the pods but the car bar has a staleness to it that my nose is smelling and I keep smelling it and that's what it is. So I don't know, it doesn't smell the exact same in the car bar, I don't think. I used up two scent circles. I used up Sweet Cream Spice. I didn't really get much from this and I was kind of disappointed. And I remember I put it in my purse in like a side pouch where my masks were. And then my masks smelled delicious. They smelled, cause by then it had toned itself down. And it smelled like a very creamy, vanilla, gentle spice. And I was like, oh, this is so smart. <laughs> um, this one did phenomenal in my car. I have a little RAV4. And I feel like my face is really close to the scent circle. 
and I feel like things do well there. I could put anything in there, it would do well, and I had a silver bells. And I love this, love, love, love this. I have, I'm actually gonna be working on my brick of silver bells and a bunch of testers heavily in the month of February. So that basically, it's like a minty candy cane scent. It's got caramel, it's got winter pear. Um, it's got like warm vanilla kind of in there as well, but it's just a really nice, soft, minty, sensual fragrance. I finished up a couple of sea salt and avocado dryer discs. I'm down to two and I'm down to about half of my washer whiffs tub and I'm about the same amount of my laundry liquid. So I'm a little bit sad because that's it for me with this. <laughs> <sighs> it'll be a sad day when that's all gone for oils I just finished one I finished cardamom and vanilla so like it says basically cardamom and vanilla yeah there's a little bit of a a zing to this I feel like there's almost like a a brightness to this as well as the cardamom and vanilla so I think cardamom has a little spicy kind of pepper undertone so maybe that's what I'm getting but that would not be a repurchase for me but I'm pretty sure it's sold out anyway so this morning I had a really nice bath. My muscles are really sore. Um, and I used this in my bath and it was winterberry apple tea and I don't often use the soaks myself because my dilemma is I like to wash my hair in the bath so I don't wanna wash my hair in, in winterberry apple tea. So I kind of did all that with my hair and then I added this to the bath and just laid there and I listened to a YouTube video. <laughs> so thank you to all the people I watched today. I really appreciate it. This was really nice. And my muscles are still sore, but I think it's because I didn't spend enough time. <laughs> but I, I smell delicious. So I finished up a Sunkissed Citrus uh, dish soap. Now I do usually fill this, like I use half to fill up one container of hand soap and the other half for another. So I usually use this as hand soap. Because I always say that if you're going to be washing your dishes and your hands are in the dishwater, then why can't you use that as hand soap? And this divided by two is cheaper than two hand soaps. So just to let you know, I finished up a Counter Clean and Perfect Peppermint. Counter Clean is a wonderful product. It's a great cleaning product. It takes out very stubborn stains in my opinion, and it's not really marketed for that, but it's, it works so well for like jobs that you're like, if you, if you have a problem and you're like, I don't know how to get rid of the XYZ, try Counter Clean. I've had excellent results with most things that I've tried. So I'm very happy. Took up blood one time from my kid's nosebleed. It took up um, like an accident from a change changing pad. So it, it's a terrific product. I don't really, I love peppermint scents, but I did not love <laughs> the perfect peppermint. I just found it a little too zingy. My family, I'm, a couple of times they were like, oh, it's really strong in here. And I just used this. So I don't think they were loving it, but I do love this. I, I'm down to one or two left sugar body cream. This is so nice. It's basically, um, it's got sunflower oil and aloe. It's called Lemon Drops and Cotton Candy, but it's so nice. I wanna see if there's any left. So let, that's kind of the consistency there. You rub it in and within a short amount of time, and I always try to do my thumbs and fingers because my fingers are a mess. Within a short amount of time, it's gonna be soaked in. It doesn't feel greasy. It moisturizes. I love it. And I think that's it. That was a long video. <laughs> I tried to talk a little bit fast because I have so many videos. I appreciate you guys all sticking through them. I think once Tester Tuesday airs this week, I'll probably have to take a little break <laughs> just to um, regroup. And I'm really excited about the February 1st catalog, which leads me to the question of the month. The question of the month is very simple. Maybe limit it to three things. What are some three things that you're most excited for about the new catalog? Put them down below so other people can see what's getting a lot of buzz. So as always, I'd like to say thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.